All right, so today we're building the astronomy tower, or at least part of it. This is a time lapse, as you can tell, and I'm working from blueprints that were posted online, I believe by MTV of all places. They were doing a promo about, uh, I think, one of the books that was coming out that featured some of the incredible technical drawings from the Harry Potter movies, including this one. So you can see, before I ever even got started on this video, I had split it up into different images and imported those as planes in Blender, set them all up to scale, and hidden the rest of the model just to make it easier to see what I was doing. Here I'm just starting to connect up all the windows, although I did have to <laughs> redo a bunch of these uh, on a number of occasions. One thing I did that's a little different with the astronomy tower is I started detailing this southern facade um, pretty early, even though I hadn't started the rest of the structure just yet. I did that because the blueprints were so detailed and I felt confident in my ability to uh, tackle the detail on the other sides as well. The irony is that I ended up having to go back to the drawing board a little bit and resize some of the blueprints. I found later on that the, uh, <laughs> the, the blueprints were not quite matching the scale of the project. I have I have the whole project scaled so that one blender unit equals um, 10 feet in real life. Um, that's just an old convention I've been using since I I probably before Blender even allowed real world units. Um, there's a quick fly around with the rest of the Half-Blood Prince model actually displayed, but we'll hide that again and keep on modeling uh, at accelerated speed. I think we're going something like 350 times actual speed, um, so no way I can model this fast. But uh, yeah, I did have to go back and adjust some of the uh, blueprints scale. It was not quite matching up. Um, I recorded some of that a little later on, but it's all coming together pretty well. That was the the source of the frustration that I mentioned in, in my previous video, um, but it's all fixed now. And uh, as you'll see at the end of the video, uh, I've made decent progress. We're not going to not gonna see a finished astronomy tower in this video uh, because that would just go on for too long even playing at a ridiculous speed like this. Here I'm adding some of the corbels along the side. You can see that I've made the body of it, uh, uh, the body of the tower in a, into a wireframe display there so that I can see through to the drawings. Um, the drawings are set uh, with backface culling, which means that when I'm looking through them from the other side, they become transparent. So that way, if I'm, for example, looking east, I'm only going to see the elevation of the east facade. I'm not going to also be seeing the elevation of the west facade reversed because I'm looking through the back side of it. Um, so backface culling is very helpful for things like this. Uh, here I'm working on some of the smaller towers, and uh, let's see, what do I go in and do there? I'm adjusting some of the heights. What you don't see in this video is that on my second monitor, I have Photoshop open with a big reference board of all the, the most uh, relevant images I can find um, from the films, from the actual model at the uh, Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Um, model uh, images, like white card model from Deathly Hallows, a uh, whole, whole bunch of different reference images just thrown together to give me a sense of what's going on with the real thing, which turned out to be a really good decision because there are some spots in the drawings that are not quite accurate or at least not quite complete. Uh, there are spots where they added some more windows down toward the, the bottom of the structure that are not in the blueprints. Um, and then there are also things like uh, some telescopes sticking out the side and stuff that are that are not in the blueprints, as well as the, the weather vane on top, which I haven't built yet as of this video. But it's, uh, as far as I can tell, an exact duplicate of the weather vane that sits on top of the boathouse. And in the technical drawings here and the elevations, it, it has a much simpler shape, uh, in part because these are not detailed drawings. The, if you look at the blueprints, you'll see that they, um, they re refer to 
detailed drawings, which unfortunately MTV was not kind enough to release, uh, or rather Warner Brothers was not kind enough to release via MTV, but that's all right. Uh, that's where the reference images come in. There you can see me adjusting the scale of the drawings a little bit. And working in some more uh, window and door shapes using Boolean modifiers, uh, specifically Blender's Bool Tools add-on, which is really helpful, and bringing that all together. Yeah, there are some of those windows I mentioned uh, down at the bottom that were not in the blueprints, getting those all adjusted. They're set pretty deep inside, uh, and the ones up top are slightly different shapes, so I was adjusting those as well. Bringing these down the front side that faces the middle courtyard. Used array modifiers to create these grids of windows, can be very helpful. Working some more on the corbels there that support that little balcony that wraps around the top part of the main tower. There's the balcony. And here I'm working on the crenellations along the along that that balcony, which got a little bit difficult because they have a sort of a a border you can see me working on there, and so I was experimenting with different ways to to try to get that. It's it's easier when the balcony is just a straight shot like that along the sides, but when it turns into a a curved section like that, it becomes more difficult. So I ended up using a Boolean modifier to to cut those chunks out, and then I beveled the edge, doing some manual cleanup right there, uh, and then I was able to go in and uh, extrude the necessary vertices a little bit. Had some experiments you see there that did not work out quite as well, but in the end I was able to get it to uh, to, to look, look pretty decent. And that brings that balcony around and get the corbels finished up underneath it. And uh, it's looking pretty decent. There you can see me building the stairs at the base of the tower. These face the spot where a certain someone falls after his death. But anyway, that's the progress so far on the astronomy tower. Still a lot more to do. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all the latest uh, videos. And we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.